everyone, welcome back. Welcome to the first episode of my tie and catch series. In this series, I will tie some of my favorite flies and I will demonstrate how I use them out on the water. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, in the first part of this video, we're gonna have we're gonna tie two flies, and then I'm gonna go out and use them on the river and show you guys how I use them um, and just how effective they are. If you don't want to watch the fly tying bit, that's cool. Just fast forward to the video. These flies are really effective in my local rivers, um, but I also use them in many other locations. So let's not waste too much time and let's get into it. Okay, so this is a little caddis that I tie and use on the rivers in my area. Uh, it works anywhere really, it's pretty good caddis representation. Pretty easy one. It's tied with a size 14 uh, jig hook and it's got a 2.8mm bead but you can change the bead size and go bigger or smaller obviously. Start off with a nice wrap of thread. Get rid of our excess and we're going to put a wire rib in it's extra small hens wire rib just get a little bit off there you really don't need too much tie that into my side of the hook a few wraps forward a few wraps back I really like to keep these flies really simple. All right, now I'm just going to use some some of this green dubbing. I've lost the um, packaging, so I don't know what it's actually called. But you could use any any green dubbing. Just this stuff's nice and it's it's a brighter sort of olive green than most olive greens. Um, so we're just going to dub that onto the dub that on. Okay, so dub that on there. Get it nice and all right. We'll start it off. The thread I'm using is a black Semperfly wax thread. Um, it's nothing. Crazy, I think it's it's 80 thread, and we'll just wind up, keep winding up, and I'll probably need a tiny, tiny bit more dubbing. I like the simplicity of these flies; they're quick to tie, and you don't really need to go much, go crazy with them. So we'll build it up there. We'll come back a wrap there, actually. We're gonna opposite wrap our hand silver wire. Come right up to the head and give it a wrap. Change directions, come back and change directions again to really secure that secure that wire in. Yeah, that didn't work. All right, now we'll get rid of that extra wire. Get ourselves a bit of head cement or varnish or whatever you use. Super glue, super glue is probably the best, I think, as far as durability goes. I'm going to give it a whip finish. One, two, three, four. And that is it. I'm using a pink bead for this today, but you could definitely use whatever color bead you like. Black's good, gold's good. Now we we'll just give it a brush out. Get those dubbing fibers sitting out. Give 
give it a good brush and pull all these fibers out. Now, all this excess stuff, just pull it down. Snip. Just tidy it up a little bit. Don't cut them all the way down. You want it to be a, a furry little fly. It's a deadly little pattern and you can see it in action on, on this video. So that's that's one fly I use in this video. Okay, so this streamer I'm using in this video is a very simple tie. I've got some lead-free wire. We just build up a bit of lead-free wire on the hook. Move it back a bit to there. Now, I've misplaced my wire cutters, so I'm just going to have to use these scissors. It's pretty soft stuff. I wouldn't recommend doing it all the time, but uh, it's all I've got at the minute. Which is, it's not real good. So we'll crush down our... Uh, get it set on your hook. Just with your fingernails, take off those sharp edges that your scissors or cutters leave. And you want to leave yourself enough room at the head to finish the fly off. So push that all back a little bit. And what we use, we've got an orange Semperfly 8.0 thread. 6.0 would be better, a bit stronger, but I've actually had no dramas using the, the 8.0. It hasn't, hasn't let me down yet. It's actually a very durable streamer. Um, so we'll start off at the head, we'll tie in. And then we want to want to get some wraps in between the lead-free wire. Come to the back. That should do it. Now I've got some silver eye stub. Now I bought this on Amazon um, at a place called Tygo Fly, and it's it's it was ten dollars for all this, different colours. It's not the greatest stuff in the world, but for this fly, it's it's pretty good. It works really well. So there are better dubbings out there. But for this purpose, I really, it's really good. It's good for uh, it's dubbing leeches and stuff like that too. So we'll get our dubbing, pull off a big chunk. And we're going to stack it by pulling either end out and stacking it. Pull either end out, stack it till you've got a pretty even clump. You sort of don't grip it too hard. Just sort of let it let it come with your fingers. All right. So now take a little bit out. We tie that into the back of the hook. Leave ourselves a tail about, I guess, about an inch long. We tie that in right at the back. Nice tight wraps there. So a few more wraps on there. Then pull that back over. Wrap. Build up a bit of thread at the back here and just wrap over what you just did. A few turns. It's not going to want to stay there really easily, but it's okay. All right. So that's your tail. And you can just, yeah, there's always going to be fibers that come out. It's just the way it is. But that should that's that's your start of it, that's your tail. Okay. Next we're gonna make a dubbing loop and we're gonna get our little dubbing loop spinner. So we'll make a dub a fairly long dubbing loop. Don't worry if you make it too small. 
because you can always just add another one in. Okay, so dubbing loop spinners on, and we're just going to add. We're going to add some more of the silver dubbing. Just going to have to stack it first, like we did before. We'll stack it again. Stacking it just straightens out all your fibers and gets them nice and even, so that when you tie, when you roll it over in the dubbing loop. It, they're sort of all similar lengths. So we'll just keep stacking it. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now we'll just roll it out a bit and spread it out. So we've got a bit of a bit of like a, a plate. It's all flattened out and to where you want it. I've just got to unwind my dubbing loop a few turns. Okay, so now we'll put it in. Push it up. You've got a fairly flat sort of dubbing set up there. Give that a spin. Spin it right up. Right, it's just going to be a chunky mess, so we get our little Velcro brush here, and you'll get a lot, a lot will come out, and you might not think you've put enough in, but you, that's just something you'll get a feel for. Like I said, you can always add another dubbing loop. I'm just going to give it a little spin again, just a little bit. Bottom fibers weren't really caught in enough. Okay, so now we just take our thread forward. One, two, three, four, five, to the front of the hook, right behind the eye where you're going to finish on the head. Now we wrap our dubbing loop over, pull all the fibers back, and just keep wrapping forward as you're pulling them back and this will create the body of the fly just keep going forward and keep playing with it now we're at the head we can tie off our dubbing loop, secure that in there, secure our dubbing loop in there, and if you're happy with how it's secured, just sort of pull everything back, and we're going to build up a bit of a, a head with the orange thread. So just build up, build up, build up. You get a nice looking orange head. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with that. Not everything went to plan, never does when you're filming, but um, This is just the general idea for you guys to be able to tie this yourself. Now we'll just give it a whip finish with a bit of head cement on the thread. Four turns and we are sorted. That's that part done. Now we're just going to dress it up a bit. We're going to get our Velcro brush and give it a good brush out. This is, gets a bit messy but whatever, it's the way it is. I'll just sort of put my thumb against it and run my brush along each side, put my finger against it. Oops. 
Caught some really nice fish on this on this minnow. Now, as you can see, this is a bit straggly and the um, the tail's not doesn't really look. It's not fish shaped. We want to make it look like a minnow, so this is when we trim it. So, other thing we can do is turn it upside down, or we can just hold it in our hands. I'll just brush the bottom out a bit. So that also needs, it's always good to brush the bottom out. Computers turn it off. Come on. So we'll brush it out. When you're happy with everything where it's sitting, and you got it where you want it, you give it a trim. So I can see that this top bit isn't really shaped how I want it. So I'm just going to get my scissors run along the top. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same at the bottom. Make it just bit by bit, just trim it down to a minnow shaped sort of fly. So, I reckon that we gotta just do a bit more at the, at the back. Also run around and give it a trim, get all the stragglers off. Okay, so we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. I think it needs to be, there's a few things that aren't. I'd like it to have a more tapered body. I think that's pretty good. Just play with it until you get it the shape you want it. So this one, where I fish, there's a lot of perch in the in the river, and they, I mean, you spend a lot of time. You, you catch a lot of little tiny redfin perch, which are about this size. So I think it's one of the reasons it's so effective where I fish. So I try and make it a bit more redfin shaped, but it depends. You could just trim it down to whatever size or whatever shape you think is necessary for you, for the bait in your in your rivers. So that's pretty much it. What I want to do next, I'll just get these stragglers. Now, what we do next is we get a permanent marker. I just use black. Black permanent marker, pull the tail and just run it along the top. We run it along the top and we get, we're just trying to colour in this, the back. Okay. Generally, if you put this into a pool where there's a brown trout, you, and you give it a bit of movement, you're going to you're going to catch the fish. I don't know if I mentioned what hook it's on. I'm tying this on a size 10 blob hook, barbless blob hook. I find they're a really good streamer hook. So 
Sometimes the fish just grab the tail of this, but generally, most of the time, they hit it head up front on, and you get a hook up. Right, so we've got our top coloured in. It's dark on top. And you can put whatever pattern you like on it. On mine, I just put stripes. So that's it. Nothing too crazy. And you can see it in action in the second half of this video. Uh, the first half, I'm using the caddis that I tied previously. Yes, got him. A nice fish. There he is. He just came out of the came out of the depths and took a nymph. I'll get him back. There's a fish. There's a fish right there. Brown trout. Whether he sees me or not, I don't know. Yep, got him. Very nice. This is a good fish. Oh, the other bank. Very good. We'll just pop him up. Here and get him in the net and get to a safer spot. Oh, it was a long time between fish. I'll just keep him safe, keep his head down in that water. He had no hesitation on that little caddis. As soon as that went in the water, he, he charged at it. There he is, it's a really nice fish. I'll get him back. Oh. I've got a fish rising just down here. I hope he doesn't see me. Staying as still as I can. He's had a go at the indicator. I think that might've been him. Yep, got him. Oh! <sighs> Alright, getting down in the riverbed. There's a fish somewhere over there. I'm just gonna let that hang and hopefully he eats it. And he got it, yes. That was the plan.
beautiful looking fish. Oh, cracking little rainbow, uh, brown. Hello, buddy. Let's get that hook out here. There he is. Nice little fish. I'll get him down. Yep, got him. I'm just gonna chuck him in the in the net and deal with him. There we go, a little brownie. Have to throw him in. Little caddis is a killer. Really doing a good job today. Yep. On again. It's getting better. And a little. Right, I'm going to try a streamer here. I just had a big brown trout come up and have a look at a nymph. Let's see if you'll. Come up and hit a streamer. He may have spotted me, but yep. Oh, he had a crack at it. It wasn't the same one though. The other one was bigger. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, he's hit it. He's hit it. <laughs> he bossed that. Absolutely bossed it. It's not the same fish. The other one was bigger. Came at it twice. Very good. I'll just chuck him back in down here. Alright, here's a big pool. Let's see what we can pull out of it with this streamer. I'm just gonna prop behind this grass here. Should have a clear cast down the back. He's having a look, he's having a look. Oh. Oh, they're just... Yep, got him. Oh, he's a good fish. He's a good fish. Oh, he got off. Bastard. <laughs> they were just all going it. Reddies, trout, everything. I think they're scared now. I've scared them off now. Sufficiently scared. There's another one behind it, there's another one behind it. Go, go, go. He's scoped, they're scoping it out. Yep, yep. Ah, oh, it's a red fin.
Oh, that was a brown too. Yep, got him. Another one. Came back for it. Nice fish too. Nice fish. Don't spit that hook, don't spit that hook. Oh, reach, 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 reach. Nice. There he is. He's a nice fish. Very nice. I'll get him back in the water. Just gonna hide in here and pop that in there. There's a fish right there. Yep, got him. That is a nice brown too. He's nice, he's nice. He hit that straight away, didn't even hesitate. Got some. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Let's bring him this way. That's what we want. Nice size fish like that. Somehow, I oh know he's good. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Cracking fish. Absolutely engulfed my streamer. I'll get him back. Oh, we've got a nice big pool here. A bit of a swirl going on. Trees everywhere, hard to cast. I think I can just do a little bit of a hook cast over there. Yep, got him. Got him. <clears throat> Good fish too. Oh, he's a nice fish. I don't know if I'm going to get him up there. Oh, four pound tippet, four pound tippet. Got him. Oh, nice. Any large pool, you put this in it. That's it, you get it. Look at that, nice fish. Roomp. I don't know another way of putting them back in. But uh, from up here, it's just not possible. I could carry a longer net maybe. Got him. Oh. There's another fish. Yes. It's a nice fish. It's a really nice fish. Come here, buddy. Oh, look how long that is. <laughs> He's a long, skinny brown trout. Let's get that hook out of here, buddy. Okay. 
Look at that. Beautiful. Nice, healthy wild fish. Too long and thin, that guy. So we'll get him back. Oh, and he's off. He's off. What a beautifully coloured fish. Oh, I'll tell you what. Don't want this day to end. It's been brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's Got him. Just have to be patient. 